Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dan with Senior E-Bike and Adventures. Hey, today we are going to get out and ride our Mooncool 350. It is my 350 watt front hub motor, 36 volt battery, great cargo space. You can see I have room to put my backpack and still have room for other things. And, uh, yeah, it's a great trike. So I want to get out and just do a uh, kind of a ride review and uh, haven't had it out here for a week or two. I couldn't this is the Moon Moon Cool E Tri 350. On the side here it says Cozy Land. Not sure what that means, but there it is. So yeah, we're gonna be riding about 10 or 12 miles today and uh, just wanted to get it out. So here we go. The trike will do about 15.5 uh, mile an hour. It has three pedal assist levels and I'm in number three right now. But it's a very fun trike to ride. Very stable, no tipping issues, no flexing of the frame issues. Just a great little trike. Uh, Mooncool sold so many of these, including their other lines of uh, trikes they have with the TK1 folding and the TK1 fat tire bike. They have sold so many of these things over the last year. For the most part, you had to pre-order because they had no inventory. They sell them so fast that they can't keep them in stock. I've already given this trike high review already. I tried to get out yesterday and I got about two miles from home and one of the nuts come loose on my right rear tire which was not Mooncool's fault. I should have checked those lug nuts before I left to make sure they were tight. So they were not. So, so I actually lost the lug nut. That goes to the axle. And I had to limp the bike home, but I got it home. And immediately I went to the hardware store and picked up six nuts that'll fit the um, axle on this uh, trike. So that will not happen again, I promise you. I always tell people, check everything before you go on a ride. Check the air in your tires. Check any nuts that are loose, any bolts that have come loose. Make sure all that is ready to go before you ride so you don't get stuck out on the trail like I did yesterday. That was my own fault. So I wanted to uh, get that review in today instead. Little squeal in that front rotor. Got to get that fixed a little bit, but not too bad. Beautiful day out here today. It's a little bit warm. Um, it's probably in the mid 80s today, I'm thinking. But when you're riding along with the breeze that you get, the hot weather does not affect you at all.
I already got one ride out early, earlier today on another trike and got it reviewed. And you had already seen that video because this one's not coming out until... Um, it, it may come out tonight. I should be able to get it out by 6 o'clock tonight. On your left. So you should be able to see this one today. The other trike that I did a uh, video on, I have to get it approved by the company before I release it. Where I've already released some videos for Mooncool and they've been uh, very happy with my um, videos. So I don't need to get their uh, approval, shall we say, to get a video up for them. I'm one creator of several that have reviewed this. The thing I think is a little bit different with me reviewing the trike is I'm the oldest YouTuber reviewing e-bikes or trikes. I guess on the planet because I haven't seen anybody else on YouTube as my age. 60, 65 is about the oldest I've seen so I guess I'm the senior reviewing these. Right back there at that intersection where I lost my uh, nut to my axle yesterday and had to walk the uh, trike home from there. Fortunately, I had a pair of vice grips that I put out around a cloth on the uh, thread so I wouldn't um, strip those. And I had a vice grip where I just clamped it down and that way the wheel wasn't going to come flying off there as I was even walking the bike home yesterday. So that was a lesson learned for me from yesterday. So I have now decided that every bolt and nut that I have on a bike, mainly the nuts because that sometimes will come loose, I will keep them in my backpack for each bike that, and trike that I ride. That way I don't uh, come across that issue again. If I do, I'll be ready. But again, you gotta uh, tighten everything down before you go on your ride, and that way you know everything is good to go. It's a very quiet trike, barely hear the motor. You have a slight little uh, noise in the front fender possibly. Could be barely rubbing the tire, that sometimes happens and you just gotta get that adjusted right. But the seat's very comfortable, the saddle's extremely comfortable on this uh, trike. The hand grips are uh, really good. It's got an adjustment on the handlebars where you can go in and out. So if your reach is longer, you can always adjust it farther out. But what we'll probably do is, uh, I will fast forward the video and uh, put some music to it. I don't want to uh, bore you guys with uh, mundane writing. So once I get up a little ways, I'll let you know when I'm going to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and um, write about half of this um, with the trike uh, and with music on it until I get to my halfway point where I can uh, talk about the uh, trike a little bit.
I seen quite a few people on the trail earlier today when I was out riding. Walkers and bikers. On your right. The range on this trike is going to be somewhere between, they say between 30 and 40. You can cut that down to about 20 to 30. Most of the manufacturers always say you're going to get uh, a lot more than you're normally going to get. They say that in perfect riding conditions, where the weight of the rider, the wind resistance, the uh, terrain, there's a lot of things that factor in how fast you're riding, what pedal assist you're riding, how much throttle you're using. That all factors into battery degradation. So I'm guessing on this trike you should get between 20 and 30 miles in pedal assist uh, 3. And, and that's where I'm at now. I'm in the highest pedal level on this one. So someday we'll do somewhat of a range test and see how far we get. And I got to kind of balance it out to where I'm closer to the house in case I uh, kill a battery. I don't want to do that five miles from home, but I could ride this trike very easily without a battery. All I would have to do is lower the gears and uh, ride it like a regular bicycle because this does have um, seven gears on it, so I could go down to either gear two or three and ride the bike very comfortably without power. On your right. Got a deer on the trail up there, a very little one. You guys could probably barely see it, but I, there's another one getting ready to cross, another little one. I don't know how long he'll stay on the trail, but probably not long. He's checking me out. Oh, that's a, that's a baby fawn there, real little. I don't know where mama's at. She, she may have already crossed. And there's some little ones there. Tightened up my uh, cup holder here, come a little loose. Probably should have put it on another bar here so I don't lose it. Or put them back in my basket, one of the two. It's gonna probably put that in the back of my basket because I don't think it's gonna stay. So, we'll get off the track here in a second after I get a drink and we'll fix that. I love drinking Powerade, not a commercial form, but I love this stuff because it's got 50% more electrolytes than the uh, name brand, which I won't mention. So we're just going to slip that in my little carrier here, that way that's not going to come off on me.
But I told Moon Cool that I would like to get a video out every week on one of their trikes, rather it be the um, TK1 folding uh, trike or this one, the Moon Cool 350. Again, most reviewers will only do one or two, maybe three reviews, if that. Then they get rid of the bike or trike. And they just, I don't think it gives the company a good bang for their buck, shall we say. So I will continually riding these as long as I can. And put them in rotation with my other bikes and trikes. I have uh, four of them up for sale right now. And if you guys are interested in the local area, put something down in the comment section. With you in a couple hundred miles of Dayton, like Indianapolis, Columbus, Cincinnati, where you can drive here and pick it up. I've got great deals on uh, trikes right now and bikes. Not so much trikes right now, but bikes. And uh, I'll let you guys know what I have. I wish I have brought my sunglasses today. Kind of bright out here. Right up here is where I'm going to uh, add music to the video and some fast forwarding of the video for you guys uh, till we get up into the park. So I'll be doing that right here. So um, I won't be talking. So uh, enjoy the ride, enjoy the music. get the traffic to cross here so I can uh, get over. So I'm back again. Hope you enjoyed the music and a little fast forwarding through that video there. And here we are at our uh, halfway point. As soon as I get up, uh, wind through the park here just a little bit, I'll be where I need to be. Then we'll get off and uh, maybe do just a little drone footage. And then we'll do a uh, A short description of the bike again.
All righty, guys. Um, I'm gonna get off the uh, the trike right here and show you a couple of good photos of it here, and then I'm going to uh, stop the camera here, and then we're gonna do a little bit of drone footage here, and then uh, when I do a um, my final thoughts on the um, bike, it'll be closer when I get home. So we'll talk about that, but I'm gonna do a little drone coverage here, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay guys, um, I'd like to give you my final thoughts of the Mooncool Tri-350. It is a blast to ride this thing. I have had so much fun since I've owned this uh, trike. Again, it is a um, 350 watt front hub motor. And it's got a 36 volt battery that sits in the uh, down tube behind the seat post in order to um, charge this battery if you take it off the bike you'll need to take the seat off on this one in order to get it off so uh, you can do that or you can charge the battery right on the trike again it's got uh, it's got uh, cable pull brakes as you can see here and these are called Logan brakes. Actually, let me correct that. These are hydraulic brakes, I believe, by looking at this um, on the trike and not uh, cable pull. It's also got uh, plastic pedals, which I'm okay with that. 
you've also got your uh, seven gear cassette sits down here and then it's it's a Shimano gear cassette um, kind of a um, trigger type uh, cassette there as well got your bell which I'm not crazy about those things but it's on the bike so I'll tell you about it I put on these bar end mirrors so these mirrors were not part of the trike when I had it delivered Again, it's got uh, handlebars that'll go in and out to your comfort or uh, so you don't have to reach so far on the uh, trike in order to feel comfortable with the grips itself. I put this bar end mirror on as well, so this is also not part of it. And yeah, it's a really uh, real fun bike, trike, shall I say, to ride. Now, it does not have uh, suspension on this trike. But that's okay because the thing will only do 15 miles per hour and you've only got three pedal assist. You turn it off and on up here and then you got your pedal assist levels down here. You can see the little buttons here. That will get you up to one, two, and three. And that's where I'm at right there. And that way you can uh, ride in whatever uh, level you want to. Again, you should get between 20 to 30 miles on this trike um, I've come about 12 to 14 and I'm down a couple bars so that's kind of normal on a um, 36 volt battery and uh, it's got a 14.5 amp hour so uh, that's quite a bit of amp hour for a 36 volt battery it'll get up and go there's no doubt about that so yeah let me know what you guys think I have the uh, price of it down in the description box with a link to Mooncool and you can also get a discount on my channel with this trike. Um, that way if you and if you if you've also purchased um, from this trike or from my channel if you purchased a trike and I find out with the code that they will send me I will also send you a free bike accessory anywhere in the lower 48 states. Just to say thank you for using Senior E-Bike and Adventures when you purchase that. So yeah, um, that's a little bit about the bike. I will, uh, I carry a um, backpack with me as you can see. And that makes it a lot easier if I have a breakdown or something on the trail, I'll be able to fix it. As I mentioned on the earlier video, I had a, a nut come loose on the right side here. And I had to uh, buy a new nut for it. I had to walk the trike home because um, I couldn't ride it the way it was. So I went to the hardware store and purchased six of these. And now I carry that with me in case I lose another nut on the trail. If I would have just tightened those when I was, uh, before I rode, I would not have had that problem. Lesson learned, as they say. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for uh, sticking around watching this video and Share and like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next ride adventure.